What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle where you and I are going to continue to work on our homestead. Things are looking pretty good right now. I'm excited about the prospects of moving into the future and I know I've said that a couple of times. However, we're cleaning up the area, we're making sure there's no zombies around and I'm going to show you something really, really cool in a second. It's going to be fun. It was fun for me when I saw it anyways. I don't know if it's going to have the same stimulating value for you as it did for me. But on this side, we've actually got sprouts coming in right now, and so it looks like the potato plants are thriving at the moment. I took a little bit, and I put a bunch of planks over here. I did figure out how to make the sticks. The stick, so the plank has to be in your inventory, and then you got to use the saw from inside your inventory. It can't be laying on the ground like this, I don't think. Like, it doesn't look like you have the option right there. We should also probably forage up some stones or something pretty soon, just to make sure. We don't come with stones, so we've got to get ourselves some artificial ones. And so I figured we're probably able to make that happen in this episode. I kind of wanted to make a run all the way back to town today. Although I'm not completely sold on the idea, I think we could do it. I don't think it's 100% necessary, but at the same time, it might be fun. Seeing as all that I'm really doing right now is moving a couple of corpses around and making the whole area look a little bit nicer. We could also get an empty whiskey bottle. Now, one of the things we haven't found along the way is we haven't found any petroleum. We found absolutely... No petroleum. I wish that we had found some. It comes in gas cans because then we can make a Molotov cocktail, which would really help us clear out some of the downtown areas. But let me know. I don't know what you really want to see from this. I mean, I should probably take kind of like a straw poll at this point where, you know, post down in the comments what you want me to do with this series. Like, what kinds of things do you want to see? What do you want me to work on? What things sound fun to you that you want to have, like, moved along in this whole thing. I mean, we've got a body pile. We've got a trash pile. We're doing those things that we do. I moved... Oh, we're a little bit drowsy right now. Well, maybe we'll go on our adventure tomorrow then because going on the adventure right now seems like a bad plan. We'll grab that. That's going to give me very heavy load because apparently this individual is quite girthy. That's okay. I like to eat in stressful times too. And what could be more stressful than the apocalypse? Throw you over there. Play hop a fence real fast. God, you guys are all over the place, aren't you? Just like non-stop. I wish that you could clean up blood, too. Maybe you can if you have a rag or something, but I wish that it was a little bit more obvious how you get rid of blood on walls. Because I'd like our house to look a little bit cleaner. Obviously, it's probably not very healthy for us to have, like, a whole bunch of blood all over the walls, a whole bunch of dead bodies all over the place. That should seep into the soil. I don't know if that's a change that they're planning on making in the future, but I think that'd be pretty cool if over time the blood actually dissipated so long as it was in, like, a permeable material. Haven't foraged a whole lot because I don't see a whole lot of use in it for right now. I think there is something to be said. So you only get one XP for like each time you do it, so... It's not an ability that is going to be trained rapidly. Not without reading a book, at least. And so maybe we should do that, too. So let's go back into the house. We'll read a book on foraging while we're in here. We'll get that multiplier nice and taken care of. What the hell else is there to do in the apocalypse? Anyways, we got Master Fishing right there. Actually, I don't think we have foraging. Doesn't look like we do. So instead, what I would recommend is now that we have this window all nice and boarded up and everything's looking safe, we're going to sleep in this room from now on. Let's grab our... Oh, nine hours is probably going to be too much. Well, damn. I guess I'll grab a pencil and a pen and we'll doodle for a little bit or something. Let's grab a pencil and then what we can do here... Maybe not. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Didn't really. I wasn't super enthused about the idea anyways, so water's still looking pretty out. Whiskey bottle. What do I want to eat right now? We're pretty tired. I mean, I think we could ride this one out pretty well. I just need to make it till morning so that I can travel. I guess I could do nine hours. That's going to make us get up real early in the morning, and so our light radius might not be enough in order for us to accomplish the tasks that I wanted to accomplish. But sometimes beggars can't be choosers, so put that in there. We've got a lighter. I need to make campfires and things like that, too. I know how to make... We can make ourselves a bow drill and a couple of other things while we're in-game. I'm not going to clean the rag right now because I think we're probably a little bit low on water. But what I can do... Ew. Okay, so we got the axe. Let's equip it. I can repair this if I have duct tape, glue, adhesive tape. Let's get the two wood glue, I guess. I don't know if we're going to need wood glue for any of our carpentry projects later on. But for right now, this is the most important thing that we have going on. And so it looks like that's got... It put its health back up a little bit. It looks alright. It cost us a lot of materials, but there's more to be found at another location. 
So I'm not really that wound up about it. It's not going to make me upset. We got some sturdy sticks in here. And we'll, hell, store some sticks or something. I don't know. Oh, the wood glue actually... Oh, it doesn't use up the whole thing. Well, that's good. Let's continue to repair then. Oh, we made it worse. Huh. Maybe you have to alternate materials. Let's try. I know I've got like a million tons of duct tape in here. Let's try that. The repairs probably get less efficient over time too. Huh. Well, our axe is working now. My axe is being worked off at the moment. Let's head back out. We're going to go to the city today, I think. And while we're in the city... I think we're going to try and lock down any useful stuff we can find. I'm going to try and... Oh, uh, we got a bunch of zombies over here that need to get dealt with, too. So let's take care of them. I know there's a lot of areas in the rich neighborhood that I haven't quite dealt with yet. Oh, good. We're going to do this today, are we? All right. Well, since I guess that... We're going to do that slow down thing again. I don't know what that is. It's got to be due to the fact that I'm running 60 frames. I think that's what's causing it, is it's like a processing sort of like rendering problem with Java. There we go. A couple more enemies down because that was a big grouping. I figured taking a look for anything that might be helpful is not a bad plan. Let's bring an extra water bottle with us. We'll bring an extra water bottle and we'll also bring an extra thing of food just in case we get caught out overnight or whatever. I think it's probably a decent plan. You know what? Let me go ahead. I'm going to swap it on back to 30 frames because I'm getting like real bad lag. All right. We're all adjusted. We're back and ready for action. So let me get up in here. I'm going to bring half of the chips with me because they are useful in that regard. I'm going to bring the disinfectant with me too because I think it's a good plan in case something goes wrong here and I'm getting bit or like injured or anything else along those lines. An extra water bottle is going to be the next thing that I would highly, 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 highly recommend. Have I said highly enough? As you can tell, this recommendation has some altitude. And so we'll go into there. We've got our first empty water receptacle, which is a little bit scary. But leveling up my carpentry is going slower than expected. So we'll just have to figure it out along the way. Let's jump a fence here. I'm going to zoom out pretty far and make sure that I keep my eye on the prize. I'm going to learn to navigate from here all the way back into town the most efficient way possible. I don't think we should get ourselves into too much trouble in town. Let me eat a bag of chips real fast. And surprisingly enough, I was going through these houses... There are a lot of locations we haven't hit yet, so if we ever end up with just kind of like a diminishing amount of a certain supply, I think we should still be good. I don't know if running through here is the best plan, but I don't really care. I just kind of want to get to places in a timely manner, and so that's exactly what I'm attempting to do. Some of these bigger houses are really, really, really nice for grabbing some goodies. Apparently, rich people have nice stuff. That's what Project Zomboy taught me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rich people have that nice stuff. We got all the goodies. It's all gold plated too. That's the plus side of being rich is that you can afford to like gold plate everything. Let me skeef around you real fast. Okay, zoom in a little bit further. And I think we probably want to hang a lefty right here. I don't know. Sorry if your name's lefty, but we're hanging you. We'll go through here. We'll duck through some trees. Almost get bit by a zombie who was hiding out in the forest. What is this? Another, like, Escuela? What is this right here? Looks like we're already back in and along the edges of town. I don't know why this game has so many, like, weird performance issues. Like, the game seriously has really, really bad performance issues, and if I was the development team, that's probably where I would focus next. Just because it's it's cumbersome. I mean, it's not fun to deal with the performance issues all the time. And what's weird is it's actually not related to the game itself. And so as a little bit of just my observations here, don't think of this as me bitching. I'm not bitching or complaining or anything. I'm just saying, from my perspective... Ooh, canned corn, yes, please. From my perspective, canned sardine, yes, as well. I'm going to try and keep an eye out for anything useful along the way that can keep us fed. Anyways, from my perspective, it's all related to recording the game. It's all related to recording the game. The game runs perfectly fine, but the moment you use OBS, fraps, anything on it, it just... It stops giving a damn, and it just falls apart. So at the top, you know that phrase? They think that the phrase, don't give a damn, came from when the Brits were ruling over India. And at the time, there was a small... Ind I guess, I don't know if this is an urban legend or not, but there was a small increment coin called a dam, a day a a d e a or a I guess a D-A-M would be the way that it would be spelled. But anyways, there was a small coin called a dam. 
And you would say that you don't give a damn to say that, you know, you didn't give a shit or whatever. And so along that line, oh good, we were able to get everything we wanted pretty quickly. I don't know if the screws are going to be that useful, but I'll bring them along. We got tent pegs, twine, yeah, bring that along. Wig glue is obviously pretty useful too. This is kind of a tool run for me right now. How are we doing on our normal weight? So we could probably bring something along with us through here. Maybe like a pistol. I don't know what the needle is used for, but maybe for sutures or something of that nature. Got the bucket. I think that's about all we're going to be able to bring back with us. I know we got a lot of extra stuff in some of these right here too. But we'll just have to like optimize and bring as much as we can back with us on each run. So we got vitamins back up in here. They don't weigh much. We'll bring those. I'm trying to get myself right along the edge of what we can accomplish before I head back. My face is going to get itchy at like the worst time ever. Oh, we have trapping for beginners. Might be a good plan. I mean, we don't have a campfire or anything right now. Let's run home in the rain, shall we? If nothing else, we'll be able to level up our sprinting to a reasonable level. So there it is. But yeah, the game has a lot of performance issues for me, but only when recording it. it runs perfectly fine, no problems whatsoever the moment I stop recording, but some reason there is no visual software that enjoys recording this game. I've tried DX Story, OBS, Fraps, I've tried, I mean, everything. And so if the developers really want to get their name out there a little bit more, I mean, I think everybody knows about Project Zomboid, but if you've noticed that there's not a lot of people recording it, it may be due to the fact that a lot of people just are having trouble getting it done. I think we came back from the side street over here so that's where I'm gonna go realistically the walk isn't that bad I think that we should be able to accomplish quite a lot from where we're at because we can get to the city very very easily from where we are there's not a lot of zombies around here although I wouldn't mind taking a day or two and just like clearing them all out and trying to make sure that we put an axe through the head of these problems basically cut it off at the head before anything gets worse they do respawn over time which I find to be a little bit of a disappointing system I think for multiplayer having them respawn would be cool but I think it would also be super awesome to say that you were like responsible for wiping out an entire maps worth of enemies I don't know if she's getting tired right now or what's happening let me wait a minute there we go let her speed up real quick I think her legs are getting tired. You can only sprint for so long, even if you're an experienced runner. I'm actually really, really good cross-country. I can last for a while, but if you ask me to sprint, I burn out not really quickly, just because all running experience is good for all types of running, but still, sprinting is not my forte. Like, I can go probably maybe a half mile to a mile, like, at a full, just, like, dead burn, but it'll take it out of me. It'll definitely, there's no recovering from that for me, but if I'm just, like, maintaining my own pace, I can pretty much at this point run endlessly. Like, I can, I get a little bit of, so what happens is it's called the wall, and it's just your body breaking down over time. It can no longer take the stress of what you're putting it through. And so it's called hitting the wall, because your muscles actually start to deteriorate. They can't keep going any longer. Even though your morale is good and your mental game is in, you're actually, like, your muscles, even really, really experienced runners hit the wall, because you can only build up so much muscle. You can only become so strong. You know what I mean? And so when you hit the wall... You're supposed to, like, max out and just keep going through it. That's how most people just suffice, is when they hit the wall when they're running, they just keep going. However, the wall typically happens, for different runners, it happens at different points. For me, it seems to happen around seven miles or so. That seems to be, like, the point where my body's just like, nah, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm out. I'm grabbing the wrong stuff right now here. Put these boxes of screws in there. Okay, we got a baseball bat with us for some reason. Cool, whatever, bring the baseball bat. I don't know why we have it, but we have it, so throw that all in there. We've got like a million and a half axes. I'm going to throw the pistol out here too. Sooner or later, I'm going to do some target practice because I think that always makes for a good, entertaining episode. They have changed the system. I looked at how it worked, and so now you have to maintain your aim on a zombie for multiple seconds, and you've got to fire the gun, and the bullet is actually a hit-or-miss system now, whereas previously, it actually projected a line out of the gun, and if it hit anything it hit something and you just leveled it up that way and the line actually had a little bit of a deviation to it when you fired based on your skill now with the way it works it actually is a hit or miss system so they swapped over to a hit scan system where you're not projecting a line or anything like that when you fire the gun you're actually making an RPG like check to see whether or not you hit and so just be aware that that's a thing you gotta watch out for I do think that we're getting suitable rain right now in order to keep the crops growing especially the potatoes should be perfectly fine oh we maxed out our food storage good Good, 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 good. Well, I can work along those lines once we level up carpentry a little bit longer. I think that we should have space 
I guess we'll use the oven now to store the rest of it. We're not going to be using it to cook anything, so the oven and the refrigerator. We'll just use those as receptacles for all the random stuff that we're picking up along the way. Looks like I missed some adhesive tape up and in here. I always miss adhesive tape. Adhesive tape is like one of those objects where when you need it, you can never find it. But when you don't need it, it's like all over the place, like sitting on your table constantly just being an annoyance. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I always find that when I need adhesive tape, I can never find it. And when, oh, we got two water bottles right there. We're almost out of the first one. Okay. Not too bad. How's that band-aid looking right now? Is that scratch gone? Are we looking good? Fantastic. Absolutely. Probably the best thing I could have looked for right there. Let's clean that rag off. And we'll go ahead and... Do I have my disinfectant anymore? Or did I get rid of it? I must have put it somewhere. So the empty bottle. We got another empty bottle over here. Unfortunate that we're actually going through like our real water supplies right now. But we've got so much of it that I think we should be able to last... This right here, that's at least another three weeks to four weeks worth of water just from our water bottles. And then from there, the kettles have 15 drinks a piece. So I think you drink like five a day. And so that's going to be three days per kettle, so 12 more right there. The mugs of water only have one drink. I don't know. We might cut it a little bit close, but we definitely need to focus on getting our carpentry leveled up. If we don't do that, we are going to be up shit creek without a paddle sooner rather than later. So our carpentry learning is about halfway to its first level. Unfortunately, we got to get it to level 3 before we can do anything else. At level 1, we should be able to craft... I don't know. Can we pickle things? If we have vinegar? I was thinking about that in between. I was also wondering about it. But anyways, with level 1 carpentry, looks like we can make drawers. I don't know if we use that to make other things, but we can make drawers. We can make ourselves not much else, though. At level 1, we can make a drawer... We can make a... That's pretty much it. I mean, it's not a whole lot of things that we can do right now. I don't even know if making sturdy sticks actually levels up the stock or whatever. We could try it for right now and see if we can make use of a lot of this stuff. I mean, there's no need for me to grab this many planks. Let's go ahead and take it. And I'm trying to figure out the fastest way that we can saw off some planks real fast. So when these planks go into our inventory, we've got 37 XP right now for carpentry. Let's go ahead and we'll make wooden sticks out of those. It does look like we're getting something out of it, like general XP, but it didn't do anything for that XP right there. So I would say to stay away from sturdy sticks for right now. And in fact, sawing planks is going to be the best way to get things done here. So we still got a decent amount of stuff in our backpack, but it should be fine. I'm just going to continue chopping trees, I guess. Not much of an option right here. Let's just keep going, seeing what we can get done, and then we'll saw off as many of these boards as we can before we go further into the game. There we go, chopping trees, trying to get stuff done. Bow, neck, bow, neck, bow, neck, bow. I'm chopping a tree. It doesn't fill me with that glee. It doesn't make me interject or shout out super wees. Super wees are important. If you haven't shot out a super wee every now and again, you should probably do that because it will make you feel happier. All in all, I think it will give you a more productive, happy life if you just make a super wee every now and again. It's just a really loud, just like, wee! It's kind of got to like keep it going right there. Let's saw these logs. This should give us one XP for every single one, but I'm actually kind of dreading the way that we're going to level this up. It seems to me that starting a character who's actually a really solid carpenter may be the 100% best thing you can do. Because everything else kind of levels itself, and if you're doing this right here, you're actually setting yourself up for a big chunk of grind. I don't know why they chose to make it work like that and to make it so grindy, but would not be my advice. I probably would have stayed away from that personally, but I guess it's a development choice that they decided to make. We can't make a water catch until three out here, but I guess we could look for a well. That's going to be our only other option because I'm thinking that this is just going to take far, far, far and away too much work to get done. Between barricading and sawing logs, we're almost, we're not leveling up hardly anything right now. And we got planks laying around everywhere, and at the same time, we're only getting one XP at a time, and that's with a triple modifier. So we might be getting some, like, 1.4 XP every time we do this. I don't know. I'd have to stare at it for a minute. But it's going to take us a long-ass time to get this going. Yeah, it looks like we're getting some kind of increment, maybe. But since this doesn't make for the most thrilling a gameplay, the next thing that I would probably recommend is the acquisition of a campfire or something that we could light fires with. So that we could get fish, and then we could cook those fish and eat those. Going fishing is actually pretty fun in this game, so 
I'd be interested in seeing how that works out. I was pretty lucky with it the first time that I did it. I did it on a stream a while back, and fishing seemed to be fairly productive. I'd be willing to bet they've probably patched the game three or four times by now. But it's just one of those things that I found to be very, very worthwhile. Move some planks over to here. And now that we have these two, we grab one stick and we grab a plank right there. Kind of wondering if... Let me put these into my main inventory real fast. Transferring items takes forever because I think I took that skill that makes me suck at it. And we'll move a stick back into our inventory. And then if I go over to here, you can make wooden sticks out of it. We got ripped sheets right there. How do you make a campfire kit? Let me look for that real fast. So if you wanted to make a fire... A fire kit, let's take a look. So we got a campfire kit. It looks like it takes twigs. It takes sheets. It takes three planks. Oh, it actually takes a whole bunch. So you actually got to have like... A ton of these so let's grab some of these guys right here and then you got to have some kind of like kindling as well so you can either use it's like twigs in the next thing that you need and I think I got some twigs laying around here somewhere jump the fence trying to do new things expand my horizon for right now and if I go into there we can make a campfire kit so yeah go do that does that do anything for my carpentry it looks like it's a lot less weighty too so if we got the campfire kit where does that go campfire materials they weigh two and if we wanted to make those, how do we do it? Oh, you can build a fire over here. Now, does it set the fire right now, or does it just build a campfire? It puts it right there. And does that light it? Oh, that's kind of cool. So we got like a little fire pit right there. I don't know when we picked up the rocks, but the game is, I guess, reasonably assuming that we picked up rocks along the way somewhere. That's pretty badass. We got a little fire pit right there. That'll be cool. So if I click that to interact with it, Okay. All right. There's some water off to the east, so we might try out making our own dinner for the first time in a while. Or at least, actually, we've got cans of beans and things like that. Let's grab the can of beans. And we'll open this thing on up. Let's go ahead and open the can of beans. That's now been opened. Since we have the can of beans, we need a lighter or something like that in order to get that going. Do I have one in here? I do. So because we have a lighter, are all of my pots used up? Let's find out real fast. I want to do some cool cooking type stuff. So we've got a kettle. we got a bowl. That'll work. I don't think I ever ended up bringing back the other water sources. So because we have a bowl... I don't know if I can heat in here. Let's go ahead and light it real fast. I don't know if it's going to light everything on fire. That would suck. Let's go ahead and light that up real fast. Oh, cool. It's animated. That's badass. Okay, so let's grab one plank. I don't know if that's going to be contained. I would be slightly worried about it. But we'll just watch it for right now. If we got a bowl of beans, can I put that inside the fire? Will that cook? Oh, it looks like it went out already. Okay, so we need kindling. Did I burn myself? What happened? Well, I'm burned? Really? I don't feel like I was sitting that close to it. Alright, well. Clean the burn real fast. Make sure that it's all good. This is probably going to hurt like hell. Minor injuries that require first aid. They probably want to work on that. I mean, I don't think I walked through the campfire or anything. We'll band-aid it. We'll try and keep an eye on it. I guess. Let's just go ahead and... That plan failed horrifically. Is the beans bowl still in there? Alright, we'll eat the entire bowl of beans, I guess. Do I still have the can around here somewhere? Oh good, we got a gunshot coming through too. So right about the time that I get wounded. Yeah, it looks like that used up the entire can. In severe pain. We should be alright though. We got painkillers in here somewhere. Take some painkillers. It'll be fine. We just kind of got to sleep it off. There we go. And so since we're tired anyways, we're also a little bit exhausted. I would say just to wait it out for a little while. That should all go away. You'll see our health go back up. It should be fine. We'll eat the entire thing right there. It looks like a system that I got to play around with a little bit further to make sure that I don't burn myself or something. Looks like this has the same problem that Project Zombo... I'm sorry, that the Long Dark has where you occasionally like burn yourself pretty badly. 
go 10 hours right here and it'll probably be fine. Our health should stay more or less maxed out. Got a dirty bandage right now. So we'll remove that. Can I clean the burn again or does it not want me to do that? If we have... Can I put a band-aid on that or will that not work? I thought I had a band-aid on me. I don't. All right, well, let me sort this out. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Project Zomboid. I will see you in future episodes. Hi to everybody, and I'll see you there.